This to have our affair. Today, I bring you a amazing creature known as the Vista Haverser, or also known as Biscuit Haverser. Um, this is the Mattel version. Yeah. Sorry, it's hard to see in this thing. Uh, that's my intro. Today I bring you another Mattel figure. I know you're getting you're getting tired of it. I know, but uh, I saw. Uh, honestly, I didn't expect this at all. Really, um, <laughs> uh, my sister literally just came up to me saying, "Hey, you want a Vista Versa?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I want a Vista Versa." So got a Vista Versa here. Um, for you, those of you that don't know, I am a huge fan of the Vista Versa. It's my favorite Tyrannosaur. And, uh, yeah, it's really exciting to get this one, even though it's nowhere near accurate, so. But it's Mattel, what do you expect? I don't really know what to expect anymore. I feel like this is, I love the color scheme on this thing, it looks so cool. But, yeah, um, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at the packaging before we, like, flip the camera, but, uh, Dynatracker's packaging on the back like sliding feature and there you've got the weird quill ability I'll get more into that later um elasmosaurus over there and there's it with its tracking gear on not much just your typical dino tracker metal packaging well um I guess we'll go ahead and get into the actual reveal of it oh my gosh I can breathe again uh, okay, well, here we go. We have the Jurassic World Gigantic Trackers Vista Haverser. Yay! So, uh, like I said, uh, I wasn't actually expecting to get this one at all. Um, well, okay, I was gonna get it. You, you know me, I, I was gonna get it. But, uh, like, literally, my sister came out like, Hey, you want a Vista Haverser? Yeah, I want a Vista Haverser. So, yeah, we went got a Vista Haverser here. So yeah, I I the, the I don't know what that intro was. I'm sorry, it was very good, honestly, because uh, I I tried something new with my mask because I just painted it and everything, and and, I, and I, I tried to do something new, and I can barely breathe in it, and I, I can't I can't think quite clearly, and I still can't. But yeah, um, so basically, yeah, I really 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 like the color scheme on this, but the sculpt, eh, not so much. It's not accurate. It doesn't really represent Abyssa Haverser very well. Um, but yeah, it is one of the only Vista Versa figures there is out there, so I'm glad to have it in my collection, but I guess we'll go ahead and get it out here. Um, let me get the scissors. What in the world did I do with them? I know I, I literally, oh, here they are. I was using them for my mask earlier, so I guess let's go ahead and snap this one out. All right, so we've got our biscuit and gravy here, and we also have the tracking gear, which it again has that weird oily feel to it. The Elasmosaurus had that too, and I don't I don't know what that what that is, but uh yeah. We've got biscuit and gravy here. Um it honestly kind of even looks like gravy, if I'm not gonna lie. Um so yeah, let's talk about this figure because I know a lot of you guys probably aren't a huge fan of it, and I'm not the hugest fan of it. Like, okay, as soon as this one was revealed, I'm like Oh my gosh, they're gonna have a Bista Verser? No way. And I'm like, and when the like actual pictures came out, and I'm like, eh, I I love the colors. I was instantly attracted to the colors. Like, I, they just draw your eyes. Like, honestly, not gonna lie, this might be my favorite Mattel paint job ever. I just love how like you've got this darker tail, and it fades into this sort of cream color, and this. Uh, this jaw here is like a really really interesting color because it's not actually black or gray it's sort of the bluish gray i don't really know how to explain it and they've got like all this spots and stripes here it looks amazing the only thing it's missing is a 
yeah, uh, but I, get, I don't think we really uh, expect that anymore. Um, so yeah, so now that I'm done talking about that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at this figure. So, um, let's take a look at the details on this because, I don't know, there's not really much to cover. They're just a Mattel figure. Um, so, on the face here, you can see there's a quite a bit of texturing in the scales here up in the antorbital fenestra and around the face. You can see there's larger scales around the uh, mouth here, and then you've got some, like, horns or, like, osteoderms. I don't, they're not, they're something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, and then you've, of course, got some wrinkles here for the eye. That eye looks really beautiful, honestly. Um, and then you've got some same spikes on the back. I'm, I'm not sure why, though. Um, and you've got some different scales up here. Same with, like, the face and everything. The teeth. Now, the teeth are absolutely monstrosities. And our little marshmallows just packed in here. It's got really crowded teeth in there and of course no lips so you can't even hide the fact that it does uh the bottom jaw here has a little bit better i guess with the crowding and everything but it still doesn't look very good they're not sharp at all the tongue uh however is uh sculpted very nice uh i guess not very nice it's just basic mattel like tongue texturing the top of the mouth, hey, it's actually, like, colored. The uh, Elasmosaurus did not. It's just blue. So that's nice, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then on the bottom jaw, you've got these really big scales here. They look really weird, but they're kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. And you've got, like, some other smaller scales, some more scale texturing. And then going back into the neck here... <clears throat> You've got some more of those large scales. I don't, no, don't know what those are. And you've got sort of like a crocodilian looking scaling pattern on the neck. And you've got like this sort of lap of skin or a wrinkle there. Um, you've got some more crocodilian looking scaling on its body here. Um, and of course more of those spikes. Um, the arms have some good texture on them. The claws, however, I didn't really like. I mean, I know they just bother me for some reason. They're, like, super dull and, like, thick and, like, really long. I don't know. They just look weird. Very chonky little arms, to be honest. <laughs> um, he's been lifting weights, I guess. <laughs> um, then you've got some more of these larger scales around the body. The leg here, it's got some texturing of the skin. And then a lot of these big bumply, they look like nerds candies just sprinkled around on its legs. I don't know what that is. You just got one little tiny lonely scale on its like leg there. I don't, it looks so weird. Why would they put just one? Like not like a cluster already looks kind of weird, but just one. Just, 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 yeah, how, how about when we're texturing the legs, let's just put one of those little tiny scales there. That, that'll look good. I guess that's what they thought. I don't know. And then you've got some, like, skin wrinkles there. Um, some bird scales, of course. And you know how much I love those. Even though they're not accurate, I still think they look really cool. And I just cannot explain how much of I love this creamy color. It just looks so good on this figure. Uh, it's like every Bista Haverser there is out there has an amazing color scheme. Um, of course, no painted claws or anything. <clears throat> Why would we want that? You got some very nice texturing on the leg there, and not much on sort of flat on the bottom. Um, got the the dew claw sculpted out, of course not painted though. Um, and that's pretty much it for the legs. Um, you got some more <clears throat> of that crocodilian like texturing around the belly and leads up into the tail. Uh, you've got some wrinkles around the tail. Some more of those large scales <laughs> just sprinkled around, you know, just sprinkled. And then, this is where it gets weird. They decided to add these, like, bristles or, like, quills to its, like, uh, tail. Like, this would, this action feature is honestly really fun and cool, but why out of Bista Versa? Like, it's not going to be accurate, like, Anyways, but like why on a Bista Versa on a Tyrannosaur? Like 
I would see, okay, maybe on like a Satakasaurus or like something with quills, but a Vista Bruiser? I don't know. It's still a fun feature. It, it's just not accurate it, at all. I mean, none of Mattel's figures are accurate. Let's just face it. Except for that Boreal Pelta. That one's pretty cool. Uh, as as far as the sculpt goes, at least. Um, and then for the tail, my camera keeps on focusing, but you've got some really nice, fine detailing. Why will it not focus <laughs> on the tail there and some more spikes? And then they slowly get smaller until they lead into nothing. And uh, that's pretty much covers it for the uh, textures and everything on the, the scaling. and the, I don't know. I'm not, I can't talk today, okay? I'm, I'm just... I kind of already covered the colors in the beginning of the video, but, you know, we'll, we'll just go over it a little bit. So, the base of the body is sort of this creamy color. I really like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, and then, of course, you know how Mattel loves doing the bottom jaws a different color? Honestly, I'm looking in my room, and I don't see a single figure that does not have a different colored lower jaw. Except for, like, maybe five, honestly. Um... So, but honestly, on this figure, normally I get mad, but it looks good. I like the color that they chose here, which is, like I said, it's not black and it's not gray. It's sort of a blackish, like, blue, I guess you could say. It, it's got a hint of blue in it, and it's really, really cool looking. And then you've got, like, those same stripes, like, around here going up into the chest. Looks like a fire, like, a flame pattern on it. it looks really cool and of course the arms are that color and then the face you've got sort of speckled brown uh, around there and that very nicely painted eye like usually Mattel's eyes are not that great and of course it's marshmallows are painted uh yeah not not much to see there and then of course in the plastic there's sort of a swirl of different like I guess it's not really different but there's like different colors in it and then there goes my light. So in the tail here, it's sort of this dark brown. And it, it, it honestly, Mattel gets away with doing the no paint onto the tail because it doesn't really need it, honestly. Like, it's got this speckling here, which looks really good. How it sort of just like, like makes the brown and the cream just go together so well. It just ties it all in with this brown speckling sort of like a terracotta color just sprinkled all around and then of course the rest of the tail is that brown color and it's sort of like sprayed I, I, like airbrushed i guess I'm, I'm looking for the right word uh onto the like bottom of the tail and on the top here so it really blends in really good but yeah that pretty much covers the colors on the vista haverser but why not check out the action features here? So, here we have two buttons up here at the top. One of them <laughs> activates this feature, like I was saying earlier. It's a very fun feature and reminds me of those hair clips. Introducing the Vista Clip! As you can see here, it has high-technology bristles to clip into your hair and stay there the whole day! Simply clip it into your hair and it's there for the whole day! Use code RAPTORTAC to get 50% off of your Bista Clip. Buy it now on BistaClipSomethingSomething.com. But wait, if you get yours right now, we'll throw in an extra Bista Clip completely free. Must be 18 or older to order. Please make sure you have hair before buying this product. Code RAPTORTAC expires after 7 days of this ad. Seek medical attention if Bista Clip gets stuck in your hair for more than 7 days. With Bista Clip, it's always in your hair. So that pretty much covers that feature there. It's pretty fun and it's very entertaining but just to be on my shelf it's not really gonna do anything i might take it down and when i'm just wanting something to play with i guess while i'm doing stuff like editing and stuff i guess i could just squish that <laughs> i don't know um and then the other button here um does a very interesting biting feature where it sort of puts its head up and then down very interesting but sort of cool i love the pose that this is in also, it's very unique and not really just your standard standing up dinosaur, tyrannosaurid looking thing. So, pretty cool. I mean, you could put it in a more of like an upright pose where it's sort of looking up to the sky. It's pretty cool. Very 
very unique figure, I guess I should say. Um, the tracking gear here, um, I'm not, I tried putting this on and I can't really figure out how. Like, it doesn't really fit it very good. I'm looking on the box because, like, am I doing something wrong? Okay, so I guess I got it on as best as I could. Uh, it just, it doesn't really stay very good, honestly. Like, it's not as, like, perfectly stable as the elasmosaurus was but it kind of just wants to slide off i don't know um but yeah there it is um pretty cool i guess um tracking gear i don't really keep the tracking gear on once they're displayed i just put it somewhere so not really a big use for me but it is cool to include it i assume you can still use yeah you can still use the action feature it doesn't really go up as much uh without it but very interesting uh, figure, honestly. The Bista Haverser. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, speaking of Bista Haversers, <laughs> I'm getting another Bista Haverser. So, I guess make sure to watch out for that. Honestly, actually, today was the day that they were supposed the the day that they were supposed to ship out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not spoiling it, but if you do know, then you know. Um, yeah, so they could be here any day now. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, Vista Verser. Vista Verser. Vista Verser. Vista Verser. Vista Bro, it's so annoying because my, it's like, here, I'll show you guys. My light here is connected with the TV because I tried using batteries and they just like, they like run out and like super fast. So I have to keep turning on my TV to get my light to turn on. It's so annoying. Bista Haverser. Bista Haverser.